Okay, today's tutorial is going to be about Photoshop's edit, um, free transform, transform, put warp, uh, the uh, transform and warp functions you can find in the edit menu. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a copy of my background layer because you can only do so much with the background layer because it's locked. Um, so you can mess with the, the background copy layer all you want. And you can basically do this with anything. I'm just using this picture. Um, I didn't draw the picture. Um, my ex-boyfriend's friend drew the picture for him. And I just colored it in and um, redid the lines, redrew some parts. Like, So yeah, a lot of it was redone by me. But anyways, I'm very proud of the coloring and how it turned out. Gloat, gloat, gloat. Okay. Anyways, on to working. <laughs> okay, here's a picture I took on vacation. So I own all the rights to this picture. Edit, content aware. There we go. That is very barely noticeable, but you can see the uh, trunk kind of matches up even though I made it bigger. But the leaves are bigger, the trunk stays the same. I don't know, I don't really find that useful. Um, because I don't really use it, edit a lot of pictures, like plain old pictures like this. So, back to the anime pictures, which is most of what my subscribers look for. So, head back on there. Okay, next would be edit puppet warp. First, let me just, um, I'm just going to use her head. I know, crudely outlined, but anyways. But warp. Now, let me zoom in. You have this grid. Now you can take any point on this grid and move it to your liking. It takes a while to get used to, that's for sure, but then just switch tools and say apply, and there you go. Um, another thing you can do is basically transform. Anything you find in transform, you can access from free transform. Now you just go free transform, now you right click inside. I think you can do it outside too. Yeah. I just never did it outside, but anyways, right click. And then you go scale, rotate, skew, distort, perspective, warp, content aware scale. Rotate, um, 180 degrees, 90 degrees counterclockwise, 90 degrees counterclockwise, to flip horizontal, and flip vertical. These um, five kind of explain themselves, but free transform, basically, from free transform you can access all of these. So basically scale is doing this. Alright. Um, rotate, you get the little arrow and rotate it back and forth. Distort. I think you can hold control for distort. I believe this is either distort or perspective. And shift. You know, shift just makes it bigger and smaller. Um, perspective. Yeah, I can't remember which one's which, but they both act very, very similar. Yeah, that um, control is definitely distort versus perspective. I think control shift. Yeah, c control shift. Okay, so shift control alone does distort. Control shift does perspective, and I'm not sure how to do warp. Anyways, warp gives you this little grid here. I'm not sure how well you can see it, but it's a three by three grid. And you can take any corner of this grid and move it. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go to free transform, double click inside, get rid of the background layer, select, deselect, and real quick I'm going to find an image, like a tattoo or something to put on her arm and then show you how to warp it to her. Okay, so I found a picture. Just gonna go edit paste, and the flower is a picture I took myself and cut out with the pen tool in Photoshop. 
So that's what you see there. Uh, I'm just going to put this on multiply. Because that's how I do most tattoos. I'm just going to go edit. And it's going to go to free transform. Hold the shift key down and scale it down. Okay, so I'm going to go to warp and say I want this to fit her arm. You can do this with any image to fit any other shape you want. So this is just an example because her arm's kind of curvy. So you just take one corner and line it up to the line. Take this, line it up to that line. You can also use these to move around, but I find it's easier just to click and drag the actual edge. If you have something like this happen, just pull it out again. Um, now, if you if you take this corner all the way over here and pull it over there, you're just going to be scrunching some of it. So, try moving this and just pulling it down a bit. Go. Yeah, sometimes it doesn't like me and gives me crap. <laughs> As you can see, it's not warping exactly the way I want it. Oh, shush you. If you don't click on the little grid, it'll ding. Okay, so I'm having a little trouble with this, but you can obviously go like, um, say if this was still up here and you were unsatisfied with it, you can always go to free transform again double click to make it um, set and then go to free transform again and then warp again and you get the brand new grid and then from there you can push it into the shape you want yet again you can also move the center and it really doesn't go outside the square much so use that how you want um, I hope this helps I believe I covered everything if you have any questions let me know in the in the comment section because I usually see the comments before I see actual messages so hope this helped thank you for watching